Um, yeah, obviously, I was born in the Congo in, um, in, a, in, a, in a place they call uh, Kalehe. It's uh, very close to the capital of Congo in, K in Kigali. Um, um, uh, I was born there, you know, my mom and dad there, you know, um, my sisters, and uh, it's a very um, strong up, up, upbringing, you know. So, Congo is a very place to where um, a lot of war happened, you know, and I was born in that area, you know, from a young age, coming from um, uh, as such, uh, you know, up upbringing in the Congo. It, it made me the man who I am today. And uh, I believe uh, around uh, eight to nine years old, I left, in, I left the Congo due to the war that was happening uh, at that time in the Congo in the 1996, 1997. That's when the war was happening. Uh, I arrived in, um, in England, in the UK, in London in 2000. Um, obviously, with me, being, me uh, coming here to England, I've, uh, I've lived uh, in so many cities around the UK, you know, from London to Manchester, Wigan, Coventry, and now uh, I'm based in... Uh, Birmingham, uh, that's where my home base is right now. Um, me as a young kid, um, me living in the Congo, my family, uh, my cousin, they were a big fan of watching boxing fights such as Mike Tyson. Um, me as a young kid, um, I always loved martial arts. Uh, I was a bit of a trouble, troublemaker as a young kid, you know, I've had, had a lot of energy, so um, me um, getting to martial arts was a natural transition, you know. Um, I've got passion for fighting, watching uh, uh, boxing fights with my, my cousin, my dad, and uh, Slowly and slowly, I progressed into the martial arts as I moved there into England. I started a little bit with uh, boxing as an amateur. I progressed through that, and um, eventually, as I moved uh, to Birmingham to study uh, uh, at the university over there, um, I started to uh, to learn MMA and compete MMA. Yeah, for my young, for my, obviously me as a young age, you know, um, I always fell in love with martial arts such as boxing. Aside that, uh, at 16 years old, uh, I worked my way through the amateur ranks. Um, but the only reason I couldn't do MMA at that time is that I couldn't really afford the um, to pay for my uh, my classes, obviously me, my parents didn't really like me doing any type of fighting, especially martial arts, as the fall was violence. And um, so, eventually, as I moved there to Birmingham University, um, I, I found a local gym that I started training at. Uh, I walked through the ranks of uh, in the UK scene as amateur to pro to the professional. Um, uh, I won a few major world titles over there. Uh, eventually, turned professional. Uh, I won a major world title in the EFC in Africa, and I won my second world title in, uh, in the UK in a big organization called BAMA, uh, which I won the middleweight title over there also. Um, I fought all around the world, uh, fought in Africa, in the EFC, in the UK, in uh, BAMA. Uh, I fought in Poland, the KSW. Um, uh, now I'm currently signed to uh, Bellator, which uh, in my opinion is uh, you know, the top organization in the world, probably like top three in the world. So I'm signed to Bellator currently, yes. Obviously, 2019 is ending, so I look forward to having a good uh, 220, you know, getting, um, keeping busy, getting some fighting and, uh, you know, uh, putting a win streak together and, uh, you know, put some win together and hopefully uh, in the future, um, my dream is to fight for the better to have world title. And me and um, Alex, we managed by uh, the same manager, same manager uh, heavy duty management with uh, Carl Mason. And I got approached by uh, my manager that uh, Alex has got a fight uh, in uh, UFC Korea. Obviously, me being a light heavyweight and um, have very similar style to his opponent, I put a lot of pressure, a lot to come forward. And um, my manager and um, Alex's team, uh, they, they thought it'd be a good idea for me to come over, come, come over to Vienna to help uh, Alex in his camp. And I jumped in the opportunity. Obviously, Alex is a very high-level fighter in the UFC. You know, t top top ten in the world. So it was a great opportunity for me. And um, of course, uh, I was more than happy to help Alex and his team. And uh, uh, we had a great camp in Vienna. He's looking sharp. Uh, he's surrounded by uh, great coaches. Obviously, he's got um, uh, Richard, his performance coach, uh, Roberto, uh, Viol, his boxing coach, and my coach. Uh, they've done a great job over, over there back in Vienna. And uh, we're going to finish camp here in Korea also. Uh, yeah, um, obviously, Alice's team uh, brought me down to finish camp here in, uh, in Korea for UFC Busan. Um, the camp's going well. Um, Korea is a very nice place, uh, very different to anywhere that I've been uh, all around the world. Um, uh, you know, the sea, the sea is beautiful, you know, uh, the people are very, very nice, they're very humble and uh, welcoming. Uh, the team and myself, uh, we've been having a great time here in uh, Korea. Um, um, how I see the fight going, obviously I've been in the camp, I've seen Alex work, um, I've seen him putting the work in, um, he's looking sharp, you know, so he's a, he's a young athlete in this game and I see him being the young gun of this division, you know, he's very young, you know. Uh, Volkan ha has had his time, I believe uh, right now is Alex's time. I see him shocking the world and um, we'll be seeing Alex in the future fighting John Jones for the live with towel.